by the time you're watching this, we are at our magical Wabi Sabi retreat in Three Rivers celebrating our seven year wedding anniversary. This is the first three day weekend we've taken since we opened the bakery over six months ago and we're not coming in on Tuesday and we're just going to see how it goes. When Chase and I can get away for a weekend, we go up to Three Rivers and we've been staying at these properties that this woman Kelly designed. And the first cabin we stayed at um, was like 100 years old. She had a copy of, I think, this one. And I came home. I bought both of them. I devoured them. I'm in my Wabi Sabi era. So Wabi Sabi is more than just an aesthetic. It is a way of thinking. It's a philosophy rooted in Japanese tea ceremony. The mindset is the acceptance of the inevitable. The design focus is kind of like finding beauty in imperfection. That said, I'm going for a more Wabi Sabi vibe. I am trying to incorporate some natural elements into my space and thus the fluted headboard, which I love. And I can't tell you, like, it feels, I don't know, like it's a protection, which I think a headboard actually is. <laughs> You're supposed to have something grounding behind your head. I'm really excited. And I'm going to share with you how I made it. It's so simple. So let's get into it. Okay, so I went to Lowe's and got some two by threes. I measured out the space behind me and I had about 90 inches to work with. And then I got the fluted panels on Wayfair. However, when they showed up, I was not very happy. They do not look like they do on the website. And I know it kind of goes against my whole Wabi Sabi thing that I'm trying to do, but because they were so imperfect, I didn't I didn't want that. I don't mind a little variation, but I, I wanted it to be what I wanted it to be. Anyway, I went through the return process. I was ready to send them back and Wayfair just refunded me and said, throw them away or recycle them or something. So I used them. The two by threes were less than $3 a piece. So I figured it would be a good practice run and I could build a different one in the future. So I made a frame that was 90 inches wide by 48 inches high, which is the length of the wood panels. And then I added a beam through the center just to give it a little bit more support and to have another place to add a brad nail. So they were stapled at the top, bottom, and center. My nephew came out to keep me company and I just had to include some of our conversation because he is such a riot. That's what I made. Whoa. It goes straight, then elbow. That's pretty good. It's small. What about, have you ever heard of medium? I measured this frame so well. I used a right angle when I put it together and somehow it was still off a tiny bit. So instead of starting from the sides, I ended up pulling those pieces up and starting from the center and just moved outward from there. And so I prioritized the top and I think on one side, it's maybe like a little askew, but from the front, you can't see it. And that's really all I care about. Then I got a piece of premium finished pine and measured that out to 90 inches for the top. I did like a little shallow shelf.
I found these brass sconces at our local antique store. I didn't even plan on doing the headboard at this time, but they were $30 for the set and then 20% off. So I knew I would use them somewhere and I'm so glad I got them. I feel like they add such a nice balance and I love the contrast in materials. And then I scooped up some copper pipe to create like a guardrail for the top to hold pictures. However, once I did the whole thing, I did not like how it looked. It added too much of a modern vibe. And I think it's like that hardware that looks like a pipe because it's kind of industrial. So I scrapped it. Hopefully I'll use it for something else. And I went for a quarter round, which just blends into the bed a little bit better. It's not quite the right color, but wabi sabi. And that is it, you guys. This was so easy to do. Kind of cumbersome because it's a really big piece, but in terms of difficulty level for a DIY, you're making a frame and you're stapling boards together. It's really 10 out of 10, recommend, would do this again. Let me know if you want to see more of these houses that have inspired me so much. I will grab some footage when we are up there this weekend. I'm so excited. This one is way too big for us. It's a three bedroom with a pool. I also made a miniature version of the fluted headboard for my dollhouse. So if you want to see that, I will probably upload that next week. So stick around. And until then, have a great weekend. I know I'm going to. And I'll see you next week. Bye.